when you had that third failure in a row, mm -hmm. did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. You know, there are American heroes who don't like this idea. Neil Armstrong, Gene Cernan have both testified against commercial space flight and the way that you're developing it. Now is the time to overrule this administration's pledge to mediocrity. And I wonder what you think of that. I was very sad to see that uh, because those guys are, yeah, you know, those guys are heroes of mine, so it's really tough. They inspired you to do this, didn't they? Yes. And to see them casting stones in your direction. It's difficult. I think it's important that humanity become a multi-planet species. I think most people would agree that a future where we are a space-faring civilization um, is inspiring and exciting um, compared with one where we are forever confined to Earth until some eventual extinction event. You know, that, that's really why I started SpaceX. Like one of the most difficult choices I have ever faced uh, in life was, was in 2008. And um, I think I had uh, like a, maybe $30 million left, you know, or $30 or $40 million left in 2008. And I had two choices. I could put it all into one company, and then the other company would definitely die, um, or split it between the two companies. And but if I split it between the two companies, then both might die. Um, and you know, when you put your blood, sweat, and tears into creating something, building something, it's like a child. And so it's like, which one am I going to let one starve to death? I couldn't bring myself to do it, so I, put, I, I split the money between the two. Fortunately, thank goodness, uh, they both came through. Uh, you need to work, if you, if, depending on how well you want to do, and particularly if you're starting a company, you need to work super hard. So what, what does super hard mean? Uh, well, when my brother and I were starting our first company, uh, in, instead of getting an apartment, we just rented a, a small office and we slept on the couch. Uh, and we, we showered at the, the YMCA. and. Uh, we're, we're so hot up, we had just one computer, so the, 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 the website was up during the day, uh, and I was coding at night. Seven days a week, all the time. So, uh, work hard, like, it, it, I mean, every waking hour, that's, that's the, the thing I would, I would say. And then just work like hell. I mean, you just have to put in, you know, 80 hour, 80 to 100 hour weeks every week. I'm available 24-7. To help solve issues. Right. I call me 3 a.m. on a Sunday morning, I don't care. Go say go for lunch. Two minutes, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2,
some three burns to head back towards Cape Canaveral. Okay, where's the... Okay, this is bad. Potentially bad. Man. 